Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to have a look at how to create a flowchart on a PowerPoint slide. So first of all, I've selected a blank slide. If I go to Home and Layout, blank slide, then I want to insert shapes. So on the Insert tab, Shapes, select shapes and you can see there there's a whole array of different shapes but down the bottom here you've actually got flowchart shapes so i'm going to select the first one and then you have a little pencil point i call it a pencil point where you can actually draw your first shape so i've drawn a shape and now you can see that it's got shape format is activated as soon as i click off that it will disappear click back on it comes back on Over on the left hand side, you can see you've got a small area where you can expand to see your shapes to pick a different one. So I'm now going to pick a decision shape, draw that on the screen, like so. Now you can see these lines as I move this across, sort of lining itself up with the shape above, like so. Now this grid I've got on because it makes it easy to see things. So on the View tab, rulers on as well, grid lines and guides, everything's on. But back to Insert and let's do another shape. In fact, let's go to the shape format while we've got that on. Because I want to connect these two together. And this is a connector I want, the elbow connector. So I'll click on that. Now as I move across these shapes, you can see that these little circles appear. So I need to sit on that and point to the next one and you can see that that has now become active. Now when I let go, what I want to happen is, if I move this out of the way, I want that to be connected, which it is, which is good. So that's okay. And just make sure it's lined up. Like so, a bit more. Now bring another shape on. Shape. Um, another rectangle down here now what you can do is you can just copy these so I could have clicked on that moved it across but hold my control key down you see the little plus you get on your mouse there when I let go it does a copy so if you want them to be all exactly the same size you can do that so if I get myself three of these rectangles which I now know are the same size as that one and delete that one off and then do the same with a decision, just so I've got some tools to play with. And I probably want two of these, so I'll just get two of those. So now I can quickly position these into place, they can line up, and like so. And I want one of these over here, and a decision in the middle. And this last one at the very bottom of the slide. Now I probably need to move all these up a little bit. I'm not too fussed about equidistance in this example, but you probably would want them to be equidistant in a live presentation. So you're looking at these guidelines and then now need the connector point to fill these in. So point in circle to circle. Now if he was using Microsoft Visio, this would stay on. But in PowerPoint, you have to click it on each time. And you can see where things are not lined up. But it's very quickly you can create a flowchart. Now in Word, if you were going to do this into Word, you would, for, you, for these connectors to stick, you would have to use the drawing canvas in Word, which is quite an old feature and it's quite well hidden in Word as well. It's actually at the bottom of the shapes you can find it in there and then the connectors will stick together. Now, each of these boxes you can type, decide, now obviously that's not fitting in there at all. So you're gonna to have to reduce the font or make the box bigger. So I'll go for re reducing the font process 
Now I, I need a few more boxes here. Process. Decide. So I could have done this before I copied it, which has been the logical thing to do. I'll put that as end. So if I pull that across with control key, copy it. So I've got another process and I can do a line to that. So you've got these all over the place. You've got these shape connectors, so you don't have to keep going back to shape format. And then from there, I want to go back to the start point. So creating like a circle, if you like. Like so. If you need to make any of these lines um, thicker or dotted, you can do, you've got weights that you can select and you've also got the dotted line options in there as well along with color so let's just go all three red so it's quite easy to create um, diagrams in powerpoint like this what's not as easy is to animate this diagram so if i want to animate this diagram i need to go to animations and then i need to select, select one of these boxes and on animations i want to add the animation pane so i can see what's what i'm doing so let's say you want um, this box and that line and this decision to come in together. If you hold your shift key down, having clicked on the first one, you need to click on each one. So I've clicked on those three and then I'm going to add animation down to more entrance effects and dissolve in is what I like. So they're going to dissolve in. So then this red line, this box, that line, the decision, that line, and this box. Let's say they all come in together. That's probably not the right order, but it doesn't matter. For this, dissolve in. And then after they've all come in, we want this one to come in, this process to come in like so and then that one that one and that one so you have to work out the order and i've just done the order slightly wrong it doesn't follow the flow but it doesn't matter and then what you don't want to see is when you put this into full screen you don't want to see any lines which means if you, if you do see a line which i don't it would have meant you've missed one out so now when I press enter, they dissolve in, like so. And finish it off back to the start. So just to recap, shapes are on the insert tab. And then once you've clicked on a shape, you get format shape. And you've got a quick link to back to the shapes if you want them. Best thing to do is to get your first few shapes on the screen and then use your control key like I did to copy it, so I want this decide because they're the ones I have to keep changing the font. So I let go of my control key, and then I get a copy of these. So these are these are now ready to use wherever I want them. Obviously, you don't want text in that one, but if this is just going to have the word decide in there, you could you could do that. So that's basically how you can create a flowchart in PowerPoint and how you can animate that flowchart if you so wish. So that's all I want to talk about in this little session. Hopefully you've enjoyed that and thank you for your time.